Hi, I'm Cherry Dollface. Hi, I'm Jackie, aka Makeup Game On Point. And welcome, welcome to, to today's, today's episode, episode of How I, I Wear, Wear It. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look inspired by Marsala, the color of the year. I'm going to be working with this Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipstick in Red Ego to create this high shine evening night out makeup look. So the first step is gonna to be to prime the skin. I'm gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is just gonna help the makeup glide on so much smoother and make it last a lot longer. So next I'm gonna apply my foundation. I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love this foundation because it provides full coverage. I'm gonna be using a foundation brush and a sponge. The sponge is going to really help smooth out any lines and help the makeup just melt into the skin quite nicely. So next, I'm gonna be using a concealer. Today I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm gonna be using that same foundation brush, but then after, I'm gonna work it in with a damp sponge. I love kind of dampening the sponge just because it helps make that product more easier to work with before it really sets into the skin. You always want to set that concealer with a setting powder. I'm gonna be working with the Retouching Powder in Yellow Number no. One. I chose this powder because anything that has kind of like a yellow golden undertone tends to flatter darker, deeper skin tones a lot more. So I'm gonna be hitting the high points of the face. This is going to help minimize shine and keep the concealer from moving around throughout the day. Next, I'm gonna apply the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finished Pressed Powder in Golden Brown and working this on top of my foundation to help the makeup last a lot longer and again, to help reduce shine. I always add this step into my foundation routine because it definitely contributes to the longevity of the makeup. The next step is going to be to warm the skin up with a bronzing powder. The one that I'm using is from Bobbi Brown. The shade is deep and I'm basically just gonna be applying this in the perimeter of my face. Next, I'm gonna add a blush. I'm gonna use Desert Pink from Bobbi Brown and just work this onto the apples of my cheeks, working that way up the cheekbones. I chose this color because it wouldn't overpower the overall look of the makeup and kind of compete with the eyes or the lips for this look. For the brows, I'm gonna be working with a fluid line from MAC. This one is called Dip Down, and I like this one because it doesn't add too much harshness to the brows. So I'm just gonna work that in with an angled brush. Okay, let's get started on the eyes. I'm going to take the Smashbox 16 Hour Wear Cream Shadow in the color Iris and an eyeshadow brush and start to work that and kind of airbrush that into those eyes. I like to use this as a base underneath the shadows because it helps those shadows pop so much more and it's also gonna add some depth to the eyes. Next, I'm gonna take Caviar Eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown and I'm just going to pop that right on top of those eyelids where we applied the eyeshadow base. I went for this color because it's a softer black and it's gonna kind of prevent that raccoon eye look. Anytime you're doing a smoky eye and you're not quite sure how black you should go with the shadow, always go for something a little softer, a little more grayer. So if you've got dark brown eyes like myself, you can take a gold eyeliner and apply that in that waterline. It's gonna really help awaken those eyes and make them pop. I'm gonna be working with the Smashbox Always Sharp waterproof coal liner in Penny Lane. My favorite way to apply mascara is to actually layer them. So the first mascara I'm gonna work with is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Just gonna apply one coat of that. And then the next mascara I'm gonna work with is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Infinite Mascara. I love this mascara because it's going to separate the lashes a little more and also add more length. Using the MAC Lip Pencil in Vino, I'm going to be lining the lips very carefully to kind of leave the space on the center of the lips open for that lip color we're gonna be working with. Now let's move on to the lipstick and this is what inspired the whole Marsala look. So this is going to be the Pure Color Envy Lipstick from Estee Lauder in Red Ego. I'm going to be working this along the outside of my lips and pulling away with a lighter hand as I start to work into the center. And to finish the whole look off, I'm gonna add Bobbi Brown High Shimmer Lip Gloss in Pure Gold just in the center of my lips and then working that way out. And this is just gonna add some 24 karat shine and give your lips the added oomph we're looking for. I don't know about you guys, but I love the color of the year, Marsala. So I used this Pure Color Envy by Estee Lauder in Red Ego to inspire my 1930s silent film star look. So first I'm going to apply the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer with my fingers. And this is used to just kind of smooth out your skin before you apply the foundation and it will make your foundation last longer. Now I am going to apply my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. This foundation is in Ivory Nude, and I also am bringing it all the way down onto my neck so there's no line of demarcation. 
Next, I am going to apply Bobbi Brown's Creamy Concealer in Porcelain. I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes, starting at the inner corner and working out and down. And then I am going to apply it on my upper lids, starting in the inner corner and working across my lash line and up to my brow bone. So to set that makeup, I am using Bobbi Brown's Sheer Finish Pressed Powder in White, and I'm using Smashbox's Blush Brush. The reason I'm using a blush brush is because the smaller bristles give a more precise application. And I also like that once I use the blush, there's a little bit of powder left on the brush and it gives a lighter application. Next, I am applying Bobbi Brown's Blush in Nectar and I'm starting on the apples of my cheeks and blending outwards. And I'm just doing a nice soft finish to give myself a really natural flush. Next, I am using Bobbi Brown's Brow Pencil in Mahogany and I'm starting on the inner corner of my eyebrow, starting on the bottom and just sweeping up into my arch. I'm faking my arch a little bit higher and extending it out farther than it goes naturally for that really classic Hollywood style. Next, I'm using MAC eyeshadow in Brulee, and I'm going to cover my lid up to but not into the crease, and then also cover the brow bone as a highlighter. And I'm also gonna bring a little bit of it underneath my lash line, just for a little bit of pop in the eye. Next, I'm using MAC eyeshadow in Era, and I'm just using this in the crease to accentuate it a little bit, starting in the outer corner and moving inwards. And you just wanna wing it out a little bit to give it that vintage feel. Next, I'm going to apply my Sumptuous Infinite Mascara by Estee Lauder in black, and I'm going to apply it to my full upper lash line as well as my full lower lash line. And you don't have to be super precise with your upper lashes since you're using fake lashes after this. You just wanna make sure that your lashes are nice and black. Next, I applied fake eyelashes just to the top lash line, and you wanna make sure with these lashes you get them as close to the lash line as you possibly can since there's no eyeliner to act as a buffer. You can apply them with tweezers if it gives you a more precise application. If you feel like they're still not low enough, you can give them a little bit of a squeeze with an eyelash curler. Next, I'm going to apply MAC Eye Cold Liner in Fascinating just to my bottom waterline, and this is gonna really make your eyes pop. Next, I'm using MAC Lip Pencil in Burgundy, and I'm going to start by lining my entire mouth. Make sure your pencil is nice and sharp, and really accentuate your cupid's bow. If you have small lips like I do, you can overdraw a little bit. Don't go crazy. To finish this look, I used the color that inspired the whole look, which was the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy in Red Ego. I started by applying it to my entire bottom lip, and I also used the edge of the lip brush to make sure that the outside of my lips were really sharp. And then I applied it to my top lip, and then I was done. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out Megan Rink's new show, Makeup Mishaps, on I Love Makeup. It's super hilarious. You're not going to want to miss it. And if you like the 80s, be sure to check out the 80s look face flop. See you later. See you next time.